And you thought that last bit of news about this trial was going to be the capper for a little bit, didn't you? Well, sorry everyone, but it appears as though Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are having too much fun keeping things going rather than, you know, moving on with their lives, which both of them said they were going to do in the defamation trial when they were on the stand, except they're not. So the question is, what happened this time to keep things rolling? Well, Johnny Depp decided that since Amber filed an appeal on things, he should file one too. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Deb tries to fix the verdict. If you haven't heard by now, Johnny Depp filed his own notice of appeal Friday, seeking to overturn the $2 million verdict in Amber Heard's countersuit. To recall the June 1st verdict, the jury found the actress defamed Depp in her 2018 op-ed and awarded him over $10 million on one side of the damages, at least. At first question, how is Amber doing? We saw her hearing that verdict. It took a long time to read. It was a sweeping verdict for Johnny Depp. They sided with Heard on one of her three counterclaims, finding that Depp defamed her via comments made by his attorney Adam Waldman in 2020. A source close to Depp tells People it was an overwhelmingly positive verdict for the actor, who believes that this is a time for both parties to move on with their lives and heal. The source adds, But if Ms. Heard is determined to pursue further litigation by appealing the verdict, Mr. Depp is filing a concurrent appeal to ensure that the full record and all relevant legal issues are considered by the Court of Appeal. Does your client want to appeal? Oh, absolutely. And she has some excellent grounds for it. To say this is a wee bit controversial is a bit of an understatement. While some will wholeheartedly support the decision of Depp, it's also fair to question it and wonder if this is just him trying to get into the cookie jar in order to get more rewards. Again, the jury only punished him for something the former lawyer did, something he can easily spin in the media when it's brought up, especially since he let that guy go. Also, the punishment for it was only $2 million, and considering Amber Heard now owes him $10.35 million, when factoring in both sides of the damages awarded to Depp, he doesn't even have to pay her technically. So trying to reverse the decision and potentially have her owe him more is a little mean-spirited. Uh, and so what basically they did here is demonize her. And they did, they were able to suppress the, the medical records, which were very, very significant because they showed a pattern back, going all the way back to 2012, of Amber reporting this to her therapist, for example. Sure, a lot of what she's done to him is mean-spirited, and that might be driving this forward in some ways, but there is such a thing as taking the high road, and this definitely isn't it. Plus, don't forget, Amber Heard's appealed things first. A day before all this went down, Amber Heard took a first step toward appealing the verdict in the defamation case. Attorneys for Heard filed a notice of appeal in Virginia on Thursday, telling the court they intend to appeal the jury verdict and all the post-trial motions that did not go in favor of their client. You know, and that's because she was demonized here. A number of things were allowed in this court that should not have been allowed, and it caused the jury to be confused. In the civil case with Depp, the court documents does not elaborate on Heard's appellate argument, but her attorneys previously indicated she planned to appeal what the jury ruled on June 1st. We believe the court made errors that prevented a just and fair verdict consistent with the First Amendment. A Heard spokesperson said Thursday, We are therefore appealing the verdict. While we realize today's filing will ignite the Twitter bonfires, there are steps we need to take to ensure both fairness and justice. Let me ask you about social media in this case. Do what? you think that had an effect on the case? Do you think they did see it? How can you not? They went home every night. They have families. The families are on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of the judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it, and it was horrible. In addition to appealing the verdict from the initial trial, Heard and her team are also appealing the rejection by Judge Penny Escarte to overturn the result, previously alleging misconduct by a juror and requesting a mistrial. If you recall, Amber Heard's team noted that one of the jurors was not who was claimed to be the juror, in terms of age of record, and as a result, the result was tainted thus requiring a mistrial. But after hearing out their statements and looking into the matter, Judge Penny Escarte noted that both Depp and Heard's team had days to figure this out, 
and call it out, but they didn't, leaving many to think, somewhat in a conspiracy theory way, that Heard kept this knowledge in her back pocket in order to pull it out in case the trial didn't go her way. It didn't, and thus she used it but not to her benefit as it would turn out. They weren't, we weren't allowed to tell them about the UK judgment. So the damages is completely skewed. There are no damages. It stopped at November 2, 2020, which is when the judgment came down in the UK. What's more, the situation with the jury was apparently nothing more than a parent and child living in the same house, and the jury summons not being specific on who was to come. Adding to that, there was no proof that the juror didn't actually uphold the guidelines and requirements of being a fair and impartial juror in the case. If that could have been proven, the petition would have held more weight, but it didn't, so there was no real reason to overturn. So what we see here is that Amber Heard and her team are trying to appeal on multiple fronts which in a way is a smart strategy for the most basic of reasons. If one of their avenues fails, another one might succeed, though obviously we can't guarantee that, and their track record at this point isn't exactly the strongest around. Ironically, Depp's team blasted Amber Heard for doing this set of appeals, and then the next day they filed their own. So it was a little like anything you can do I can do better kind of situation, and it makes it look all the more petty on Depp's part. Was it legal for him to do this? Absolutely, but should he have done this? That's up for you to decide. Moving forward, another thing that you need to weigh in determining what these appeals really mean for both Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is that of what they've been saying ever since the defamation trial officially ended. You know, one of the first things she said is, I am so sorry to all those women out there. This is a setback for all women in and outside the courtroom. Both of them made statements to the jury ruling and how they act now either reflect or contrast what was said then. For example, in a long statement, Depp talked about his next chapter in life. My decision to pursue this case knowing very well the height of the legal hurdles that I would be facing and the inevitable worldwide spectacle into my life was only made after considerable thought. From the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth, regardless of the outcome. Speaking the truth was something that I owed to my children and to all those who have remained steadfast in their support of me. I feel at peace knowing I have finally accomplished that. The best is yet to come, and a new chapter has finally begun, he added. On one hand, he honestly did go and start his next chapter by doing a music tour with some friends and helping make a new set of tracks, one of which had some not-so-nice words for Amber Heard. And he hasn't rushed back to Hollywood, as many fans hoped. In some ways, he's focused on his happiness, and that is to be appreciated in some measure. But on the other hand, with him doing these appeals, he's very much not going and moving on with his life. Rather, he's trying to squeeze hard to get everything out of the tube before he moves on fully. And that's not the best idea. Heard, meanwhile, said, I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I believe Johnny's attorney succeeded in getting the jury to overlook look the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so inconclusive that we won in the UK. Johnny Depp brought a suit in the UK for the same case and the burden of proof was easier for him there. The son had to actually prove that it was true and, and the court found there, and we weren't allowed to tell the jury this, but the court found that Mr. Depp had committed at least 12 acts of domestic violence, including sexual violence, against Amber. She added, I'm sad I lost this case, but I'm sadder still that I seem to have lost a right I thought I had as an American to speak freely and openly. The irony in that statement is very well known, as ever since the trial, Amber Heard has been using her freedom of speech to go and make it clear how she feels about the trial, the verdict, the jury, the judge, and everyone who isn't on her side. These appeals are just her latest attempt to try and get things overthrown and get Johnny back in court, which is ironic because in court, Amber Heard blasted out emotionally that she wanted Johnny to just leave her alone so she can move on with her life, and yet now she is trying to get closer to him. It's clear these two have very specific goals on what they want to do. Whether either of them get it is anyone's guess at this point. And there you have it everyone, a look at the latest twist in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard saga and how this might just mean that things really aren't going to end anytime soon. Be honest, did you see Johnny Depp doing this? Why do you personally think he's doing this? Will Amber Heard respond and call him out for it? Let us know what you think in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.